Oh, hello. Um, my name is Dax Michael. Um, I'm a co-founder of um, Melbourne SPC. Uh, so, so we created the, the, the Melbourne SPC group to unite all the street photographers in Melbourne. We used to see a lot of groups in Melbourne, but there's no one group. They always go their own way. So we, we built this group just to unite them, to, to have a one, one sole community of street photographers in Melbourne. Maybe one day um, we'll, some of the groups will join us. We just hosted a photo walk today, and um, some, of, some of the beginners in the photo walk, I taught them the, the basic the basic settings of the camera, what to shoot, how to shoot it, how to get away, taking snap, snap photos of people up close. Uh, that's, that's, that's what we aim for. We, wanna, we want them to, to shoot candid, candid photos of people, not, not just architectural, uh, basic streets, basic street photography. Me and Kurt had, um, has a dream that one day that we, we want to turn Melbourne City into the next New York City, and we're getting there. There's, gonna, there's, a, lot, there's a lot of um, street photographers now that you can see in the, Mel the streets of Melbourne. There's a lot of new beginners that's been um, doing street photography now. Um, right now, right now, we, uh, you guys can find us at Meetup, um, or, or you guys can follow us on Instagram. I think MelbSPC Mel underscore. Uh, it's gonna be on the on the video screen right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else? So whenever whenever you do street photography, each moment I call it is a snap. When you miss that snap, you miss the moment. If you if you press the trigger earlier than that snap, you miss the moment. If you press the trigger after the snap, you you also miss the the moment. In that moment, uh, Henry Cartier Bresson calls it the decisive moment. And every most of us, most of most of street photographer aim for that moment. We yearn, we yearn for that moment. We hunt for that moment. That decisive decisive moment. When 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 you when you're shooting. When you're shooting um, up close of people, um, always show your intent. Show your camera, smile to the people, show your intent. Don't never, 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 never hide your camera. Always show it. Always turn it, turn, turn it on. And when you find that moment, just shoot. Just shoot anyway. If if um, if they confront you or ask your ask, ask your uh, your photo to be deleted, just delete it. What else can go wrong, right? Don't be scared. Just do it anyway. As long as, as, long as you sh you're doing it in a public space, you're not doing anything illegal. Just don't be scared. <laughs> whenever, whenever, whenever you walk, it's better to walk with a lot of friends. It's much more fun. In street photography, there's two types of street photographers. There's number one, hunter, which, has, which I'm sh showing you right now. The hunter is the one who chases his subjects. It's like this. If you're a hunter, you never stop walking. You're gonna have to chase it. If you find a moment, shoot it. I have a lot of um, photo collections of people with um, walking sticks. Maybe one day, maybe one day I'll release it. I'll, I'll put it in a photo book, hopefully. Yeah. But for now, 
hunting season. Okay, wait. <laughs> oh, let's go. Um, whenever, whenever you get a candid reaction of people in the photo, it means it's a nice photo. It means you win. You get the snap, you get the moment. Most of the time I hunt, oh sorry. <laughs> and um, there's a lot of times I, um, I do fishing as well. Fishing is the type, the type of street photographer that you'll stay in one, one area, maybe for 30 minutes, an hour, four hours. I've stayed for one, one area for four hours. Every time I do it, I get a lot of different photos. Even, even if I do it every week, every weekend, different results. I don't, I don't get why people are saying that you, you, you'll get the same thing. No, you don't get the same thing. Because in street photography, Whatever happens today, next week, it's uh, it's different. It never happens in it never happens again. It only happens once. Because um, during winter, people tend to be really melancholic, you know. And and during summer, a lot of people are happy, energetic. They don't they they're not that depressed. <laughs> oh yeah, whenever. <laughs> Whenever I saw someone with pets, I always shoot it. I like dogs. <laughs> Hello. Hello, look at me. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> I miss my dog. It's in the house. <laughs> I own a um, uh, Pomeranian brown, a fox, fox face Pomeranian. Yeah, his name is Roshi. The good boy. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll send you the photo. He's really, he's really, really cute. Okay. All right, I'll show, I'll show you a trick when you, when you, when you fish. So whenever you fish, you're gonna have to blend in to the crowd. If you blend into the crowd. They won't notice you that you're there. I'll show you. Just stand here, relax. You know, take the ambient. But show, 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 always show your camera. Always show your intent. You, you always have the intent to shoot. Once you feel, once you feel like you blend in, that's when, that's when you, it's, that's when you shoot. See what I just did there? They don't, they don't even know that I'm here. Whenever, whenever you get confrontation, just be honest. <laughs> I, I, used to, I used to lie before. I, I used to tell them that I'm, I'm creating a book. It works, it works most of the time. But mostly, just be honest. Hello. Is it okay if I can take a photo of you? You look gorgeous. Okay. Why do you need a photo? I'm I'm a street photographer. Are you? Um, I document everyday life in in Melbourne. You do? Yeah. Right. Okay. So you, you look really good. Here. I do. I am a psychologist and I sing yeah. in a choir. Yeah. I am originally born in Budapest in Hungary. Wow. So you got the right lady here. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Of you. course. Just just stand there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Just stand here, please. There you go. Thank you. All right. Wait. Three, two, one. I'll show you the photo. 
Very beautiful. Very beautiful. That's me. Thank you. Thank you, madam. <laughs> Maybe one day I, I want to go there. I heard, I heard it's very beautiful there. It is a very beautiful place. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Thank yeah? You thank, thank you. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> See? Easy. So when you, ask, when you ask people for the photo, talk very fast. You talk very fast that they don't have a time to decline you. Yeah, it works all the time. Show them that you're giving good vibes. Show them that you're honest. Yeah, it works. I don't, I don't usually ask, ask people for their photo. I, I, um, I mostly do candid photos. It, it makes me happy seeing, seeing, the, seeing their candid emotions then post. I'm, I'm more of a fan of the candid. Oh, look at that. Ah! I missed it. Dang. <laughs> See, if you miss the moment, it will never happen again. <laughs> my, my shutter didn't go off. <laughs> what a waste. Okay, all right, this, this, this is my favorite spot to, to, to fish. I, I get a lot of photos here. So trigger, trigger means that um, something that um, interests you when you're doing street photography. When you, when you see it, when you see it or anticipate it, that's gonna happen. Yeah, that's, that's what, it makes you, it makes you, Move around and shoot your camera. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'll let you know. I'll let you know what triggers me, right? The the stuff that triggers me. Um. Colors. Beautiful bags, like like colorful bags. Uh. Weirdly designed bags. Um. Uh. Couples. Um. Couples that showing their affection. Mothers. Or dad. That carrying their kid on their shoulder. Yeah, that, that triggers me. <laughs> you gotta shoot it. <laughs> so sometimes, sometimes when, um, when people has an accessories that, um, that, that it's so cool. I'll take a picture of it. Okay, look, look. There's a lady, there's a lady. There's a lady there. I really want that shot. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. Success. <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> I'll show you later. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'm I'm using XT5. XT5. With uh with a Takuma 17 uh, oh, F4. Nice. Yeah, so really it becomes 28. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really sharp lens. Really sharp. Yeah. Yeah, how much? Um, I got it for cheap, like yeah. maybe 400 bucks. Wow, yeah. And it has a um, built-in uh, yellow yellow filter. A yellow so filter. it's really good in black wow. and white. Yeah, black yeah. and white too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm shooting black and white. Are you operating your manual or are you running uh, auto settings here? Uh, my, my, my only auto settings in my camera is the ISO. Oh, right. So yeah. the, the, the lens is manual. manual. Huh? Well done. Oh, you're yeah. a serious photographer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I tried to, sir. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you? <laughs> I want people to think about street photography um, in, a, in a positive way. Not in a more contrusive way, not like not like Mr. Bruce Gildin does it. Yeah, <laughs> he's very contrusive. Oh, very cute. 
<laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> Whoa. I never shoot um, a guy that's bigger than me. <laughs> uh, drunk people, never ever. Uh, homeless people. As much as possible, I avoid them. Hello, madam. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, so just be nice. Give good vibes. People will understand what you do. Nice hat, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, hats. One of my triggers. <laughs> um, so how do I start my day? Um, I usually park my car uh, Twin Towers. Yeah, I'll park my car there. It's a bit far from the CBD, um, but it's only one tram right away. What's, good th what's the good thing about it is, I park my car there, and, um, it makes me walk. I saw, I saw walking, I saw walking from, from Flinders Street, Flinders, Flinders Street, and then Flinders Station, and then go to H&M, or D, uh, D Graves, D Graves first. So D, D Graves is really good. Uh, there's a lot of good looking people there. And then after D Graves, I walk, I walk here, fish here for a bit, maybe 30 minutes, an hour, and then go to the other side, the H&M side, spend 30 minutes to an hour there, and then I'll, I'll have my lunch. Because when, when you do street photography, always take breaks, get coffee, get drink, eat food, good food. Always eat good food, so you have energy to walk. After you eat, eat your food, go back and do it again. And the best thing about it, reach out to your friends, Whoever's whoever's free, tag along with them, walk with them. It's much more fun. Street photography is much more fun with friends. Remember that. Um, so my gear right now is my good old uh, Fujifilm X-T5 with um, um, Asahi Pentax Takumar um, 17mm f4. When, when I put it on my X-T5, it becomes 28, 28mm-ish. 28 I use manual lens because it's, I think it, I find it faster than autofocus, you know? Um, with manual lens, I can do zone focusing, you know? It's faster, it's fa I find it faster um, than um, autofocus, actually. So my zone focus is, I put it between 1.2 and 1.5 meters. I can get really close from my subjects. So, so I'm on, oh, I'm on actually F22 right now. So, so zone focusing is from, you can see there, 8, 0.8 to infinity is in focus. So everything, everything I shot is in focus right now. So basically this is my shirt. This is, um, this is a shot of, um, my hero, Daido Moriyama. If you see that dog, yeah, that's a shot of Daido Moriyama. He's my hero. He's the one that really made me shoot a lot of black and white, contrasty black and white. And, and my inspiration even gotten stronger when, um, when I went to Japan last April. I attended the, the Void Tokyo um, workshop. Besides of doing street photography, um, I do a lot of um, events photography as well because um, you're gonna need, I'm gonna need money to you know to buy some gears and stuff. <laughs> what I like about incorporating my street photography into my my events photography is a lot of uh, events photographers you know when they when they covering an event they get bored they get bored halfway through the event. As a street photographer, I'm just having fun you know. It becomes it becomes my my street photography. I feel, I feel just like I'm in the streets. You can get a lot of emotions. Basically, it's the same thing. It's, it's the same thing you see in the streets. You're in a closed, closed environment. Clients, clients are really happy when, when, they get, when they get those kind of moments, you know, the, somebody's happy, somebody's, you know, being emotional in the photo, you know. For, for an example, I, um, I cover an event they 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 have the they have the grandma on the on the, the event. I, during the event I was like capturing the grandma, 
with, with, the, with the grandkids, you know? And then um, after the event, a few weeks, few weeks after, I delivered the photos, you know? A few days after I delivered the photo, the grandma, the grandma died, passed away. When the clients were checking the photos, you know, the grandma, the grandma was so happy, so happy in the photo. They were, they were so touched. They, um, they even say thank you for what I did, for what I captured for that moment. Uh, they were really thankful. And, you know, it, it makes my heart smile to document that moment. I watch a lot of YouTube. I watch a lot of um, Polly Beast Walkie Talkie. I watch a lot of um, Kai, uh, Kai Man Wong's um, reviews and stuff. Um, I, I watch a lot of um, Archie's vlog. <laughs> I watch a lot of Mujo TVs through the lens, yeah. So yeah, basically just YouTube. Whenever, whenever you have time or when you're editing photos, watch YouTube or uh, there's a there's a podcast that I um that I listen to right now. It's called Street Life by um Mark J. Davidson and um John S. T. And it's really, 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 really good. Um they interview a lot of um yeah, a lot of uh, great photographers every episode. Oh, are we ending now? Um okay. Uh thanks RG for doing this. Uh it it it's really fun. Um I had um I had a lot of fun. And I learned a lot from you as well. Yeah. And um, I've got I got one more advice though for for everyone. Um, uh, whenever whenever you post your photo on your Instagram or something, you know just just have fun with with your caption. Put some unique captions on your photo. You know it ma it makes it more fun during the process. Yeah. You know I want everyone to um, to maybe maybe join our workshops in the future. You can find us in, um, in, in on Instagram at uh, melbspc underscore. So it's M E L B S P C underscore. So yeah, we um, we host street photography workshops, street photography photo walks, maybe once or twice a month. Yeah, and um, you can you can follow me on Instagram as well uh, at um, streets by Dax. Um, okay, um, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you, Archie.